My name is Felipe Calvo. I'm a journalist and documentary filmmaker. I'm on a journey of six hours from San Jose, the capital of Costa Rica, to the indigenous community of Alto Quetzal. The only access to this region of the country is through a bad road of mud and rocks, surrounded by an exuberant green landscapes that makes us remember how far we are from the city. Crossing the bridge over the Backwater River could be a dangerous adventure. The bus driver warned the passengers to cross by feet due to the risk of a bridge collapse. <laughs> After three hours of driving up the mountain, I reached the town of Grano de Oro. From Grano de Oro, there's another 10 kilometers away to the community of Alto Quetzal. It's the morning in Alto Quetzal. The meeting point of the community is the school, surrounded by a few wood houses. The 500 inhabitants of the community live widespread into the jungle and the mountains. Here, the horses and the pigs walk freely through the gardens. Minor is a Quebecer indigenous from Alto Quetzal. I follow him down the mountain to meet his family and see how they work in the banana fields. <laughs> Don Nicanor is the father of Minor. He has 12 children. Most of them are already married. Thanks to their self-isolation into the jungle during the Spanish expeditions, the Quebecers are one of the few indigenous tribes who still maintain their traditions and typical way of living. They speak their native language, Quebec, which is taught by 10,000 indigenous. They also maintain a way of living based in the organic agriculture. The lack of work opportunities in Alto Quetzal gives the family only two income sources, the banana plantation and the coffee collection. During the months of November until February, the family will migrate to the coffee town of Frailes, close from the capital of Costa Rica, to find a job on the coffee fields. The work at the banana fields is a family procedure. Both men and women cuts and carries the bags of bananas up to the mountain. Each bag weighs around 60 kilograms. I try myself to carry one, but this is really not an easy job for a guy from the city. Thank 
With the help of his wife, Manon loads the horses with the bags of bananas. <laughs> Eric and his cousin drinks chicha to get energy and go back to work. The chicha is a sugarcane or corn ingest beverage. Not often, an alcoholic drink. His flavor is bitter or sweet, depending on the made process. This Quebecer family fights to keep a traditional indigenous lifestyle balanced with the influence of what they call the white people, like modern music and football. <laughs> While they prepare themselves to migrate to the coffee fields.